Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to solve another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is very simple. Problem is all elements in two binary search trees. Given two binary search trees, root 1 and root 2, return a list containing all the integers from both the trees in ascending order, sorted in ascending order. So see, guys, uh, what we have to do is basically there uh, we have we are given two trees, and both are BST, both are BST, and we need to return all the integers in these trees in these trees sorted in ascending order. So two one four is in the first tree, one zero three is in the second tree. If we combine these two uh, integer uh, all the integers from this tree and this tree, so we will get this thing. And we need to return that in sorted order. 0 from this tree, then 1 from this tree, and 1 from this tree. Then 2 from this, 3 from this, and 4 from this. So I hope you understood what the problem is. Let's see how we'll approach it. So what we will do is, we will we will see uh, what we can get from the question. Like what, we, what observations we can make from the problem. See, first of all, it's given binary search tree, right? It's given binary search tree. So this is one observation which we can see binary search tree. This is given to us. Right. Then we need to return a list of all the integers sorted in ascending order. So sorting is used. Sorting will be used somewhere. Because we need to return in sorted order. So sorting needs to be done. So for, from this we can assume that our time complexity will be n log n. Because sorting is n log n. Right. So let's let's draw this tree. So we have two one four. We have two one four and we have one zero three. One zero three. So see guys, what we can do is we want all the integers from this tree. And we want all the integers from the this from this tree. Let's say all the integers from this tree we are storing in a list L1. And all the integers from this tree. We are storing in uh, list L2. So we can do any traversal, right? In order, we can do in order, pre order, any traversal doesn't matter. All the elements we want. It's just that all the elements we want, na? all these elements. So you can do any in order, pre order, post order, like that. So all the elements will come. But now one catch is there. The catch is that we have a binary search tree. We have a binary search tree. One way, one way is what? One way is that we get all the, uh, let's say we do pre-order and we get these all elements. Let's say uh, in pre-order, what is it? It is left, uh, it's root, left and right. This is a pre-order. So what we get is 214, something like this. This we get and from here we get uh, 103. And what we do then? We make a combined list of them. Let's say we have 214. Make, we make a combined uh, list of uh, both these lists. So 1, 0, 3 like this we make. And then we sort it. So this is our answer. We sort it. So this will be 0, uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Something like this. After sorting. So this approach will have time complexity of O of n log n. Because we are doing sorting. Now how to, re how to reduce this to O of n? See guys what we can do is. We see that okay, binary search tree is given, and there is a property of binary search tree that if we do in order of binary search tree, we get sorted list. We get sorted list. We get sorted list. What right? So what we can do is we will not do pre order or post order. We will do in order, right? We do in order. So let me raise this once. So, what we do is we do in order, in order. So in order is right, uh, in order is left, root and right. This is your in order. So left is 1, root is 2, right is 4. So see, we get sorted order. Na? This list is, it is sorted, 1, 2, 4. Similarly for this, what will be there? 0, left, then root is 1 and right is 3. So this is your second sorted list. So this is one sorted list. 
L1 and this is second sorted list L2. All right. In order, pre order, in order, post order, everything takes O, o of L. Right. So it's linear. So till now, till now, our complexity is linear. We, we have to think of sorting part, how we can sort them together. But right now, individual arrays are sorted. Individual lists are sorted. We just need to combine them and make them sorted. That we need to do. So there is a concept. There is a concept called as how, like we have when we have to merge two sorted list, two sorted arrays, or you can say how to merge two sorted arrays in O of n plus m type, where O of n, let's say n is the length of this list and m is the length of this list. So let's see how we can do that. How we can do that. So we have one, two, four. This is our one, two, four. This is our L one, list one. L two is L two is zero one three. Zero one and three. So what we do is we make a uh, we make an array of size n o of n plus m. Bec uh, sorry o not o n plus m because we need to store all these na, all these in the array so we will be ta taking combined size so what we are doing is six uh, three is the size of this three is the size of this so six size array we have created zero one two three four five six size now what we do is we have a i pointer here we have a j pointer here all right now we merge these two how we merge these two we take a variable k0 we will check which element is smaller between i and j arr of i and arr of j which one is smaller which one is smaller zero is smaller so zero will be we'll uh, write here and uh, at k arr of k this is your k and j we will move forward because we have taken this element right k will also move forward so then again we check arr of i is 1 arr of j is also 1 so when they are equal you can move either of the point so 1 you can add here and let's say we move i then we compare again 2 the k also will move forward so this is the way we merge two sorted array these are two sorted array right so i hope you understood uh, how this is working and uh, i'll also put the link of the video in which i'm explaining how to merge two sorted areas and if let's see the code now so this will be uh, let, let's see the code now so in the code what we are doing is we have taken two lists tree one and tree two these will be storing in order for both the trees so in order traversal in order traversal we have created a function so in order traversal this is basic in order traversal right so after this function we will get the in order in tree 1 in order in tree 2 tree 1 and tree 2 are sorted these lists 1 2 4 0 1 3 now we are merging these two vector and this is a merged vector which is the final vector and it has combined size like tree 1 size plus tree 2 size and then we return merged vector so this is the logic for merging i have explained this in a video i'll link uh, play uh, i'll give the link in the description so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity is o of n plus m right o of n plus m where n is the length of the first tree like all the elements in the first tree and m is the all number of elements in the second tree phase complexity as you can see we have taken two vectors and then the merged vector so that will be also o of n plus m if you like the video please like it and if you have any doubts let me know in the comments uh, subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video